Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge in Groovy's template engine. Our viewer asks, how can I ignore missing parameters in my template? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has a template with placeholders like param1, but when not all placeholders are provided, the program fails. They want to know how to resolve only the placeholders they pass while leaving others ignored. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To ignore missing parameters in Groovy's template engine, we can use a simple approach. First, let's look at our template file, which contains placeholders like param1, param2, and param3. In our Groovy code, we will define the parameters we want to pass to the template engine. For this example, we will only provide param1 and param2. Next, we will create a custom template engine that allows us to ignore missing parameters. We can achieve this by using the make method with a default value for missing parameters. Finally, when we run our program, it will successfully resolve param1 and param2 while ignoring param3, which was not provided. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To ignore missing parameters in Groovy's template engine, you can use a simple hack. First, define your template with placeholders for each parameter. Next, Create a map of parameters, where some values can be null. This is where the hack comes in. Iterate over the parameters and replace any null values with their placeholder names. This way, missing parameters will remain visible in the output. Finally, Create the template using the simple template engine and print the output. This will show the values and placeholders for missing parameters. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.